Welcome. Today we're going to be talking about what you can claim in your buy to let business. What expenses are allowable, what expenses aren't allowable. So you're a buy to let landlord. You're figuring out what expenses you can and cannot claim. So let's go through them today. Let's make sure you know what you can claim and what you might need to look at in a little more depth. So let's start with some of the basics. First of all, you're going to have landlord's insurance. So that's definitely an allowable expense. You are also going to have to do certain repairs and maintenance throughout the year. So things like your gas certificate, you'll definitely be allowed to claim. And if you're having to fix things, so you might have to fix the shower, fix the oven, I don't know, there's a leak, something like that. These are all allowable expenses. And this applies for both a company and for you as an individual, if you own it in your own name. Obviously the new one is that we now need to have electrical certificates as well. And these are every five years. So that is something that we'd also expect to include and start seeing shortly. The final area we just need to cover is the domestic replacement relief. Now this applies to capital items. So this is things like ovens or boilers and things along those lines. Now, what this is basically saying is you have to put in the first one and that's at your expense. You can't claim that for tax purposes because that's before you have got things going. Now, when you have got things going and the oven breaks and you need to put a new one in, what it basically says is the cost of the whole oven that you've just had to replace is now an allowable expense and you can claim that. The only thing it does mention is you can't suddenly go from a very, very basic oven to an all singing or dancing oven. Or if let's think about boilers, we've got a boiler in a house, you can't go from a bog standard boiler to a literal does everything for you, it's the best thing since sliced bread and it does anything and everything. However, there is the issue that if you've had a boiler in for say five, 10, 15 years, the boiler that you get fitted may be better than the old boiler by default because they don't have any bo boilers that were made 10, 15 years ago because technology has moved on. So the provisions with the domestic replacement really do allow for the fact that if you've got a boiler in there, you're going to put a modern day equivalent in today. So if you just get, it was a bog standard boiler in, in the year dot when it was originally put in, you are now going to put a new boiler in and it's basically what would be expected in a normal home but it's a lot better than the old boiler it doesn't matter as long as it's not kind of an upgrade it's 10 times better it's just in line with what the one in originally was so if it was an all singing all dancing boiler when it was originally put in you can put an all singing all dancing boiler in today but if it was just a normal boiler you'd just put a normal boiler equivalent to today's standards. Now that is fully allowable and then that would be against your property income to help reduce your taxes. It's worth noting that if you are disposing of something there's usually a disposal cost. So if you think about an oven there'll be a cost of removing it and a cost of disposing of it environmentally friendly. These costs are all allowable costs to go against your income as well. Let us move on to some things that are not allowable, just to make clear that these aren't allowable. Now, we've already mentioned it, but it's worth re-mentioning in this video. Your mortgage repayment costs are not an allowable expense. The only allowable amount is the interest element of your mortgage. So if you are making repayments, which include the capital, this is not allowable and check your mortgage statement to see what the interest is that is allowable. Private telephone calls are another one. So you can't just claim all of your private calls. This is not an allowable expense. Clothing costs are not allowable. Unless they are for health and safety purposes, general clothing costs are not an allowable expense. And finally, 
your personal expenses, again, unless it's wholly necessarily for the purposes of the business, they're not allowable expenses. So there is some creativity here, but if it's not for the property business at all, then it's definitely not an allowable expense. If your expenses in your property are not particularly high, it may be worth considering including the property allowance, which is an a thousand pounds flat expense allowance that you can claim. There is a few caveats with it, but it may be something worthwhile looking into if your expenses are quite minimal and you may just have insurance and you may just have your gas certificate and electrical certificate expenses to include. So I've included the details in a link below. So please do check that out if you think that might be useful to just speed up the process of doing your tax return. Hopefully today you've discovered what expenses you can and you cannot claim in your buy to let property business. If you aren't sure whether an expense is allowable or not, then please do comment in the box below and we can figure out which are and which aren't together. Please like the video and please do subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on your property, tax and accountancy related topics. If there are any topics you would like to be covered, then please do comment in the boxes below. Let's make tax less taxing. Let's taxing.